Every grappling fan's dream weekend has come to an end. ADCC 2024 is upon us and concluded. CJI 1 is over and done with. The Super Bowl weekend of grappling is over. And holy crap, I'm drained. I don't know about you, but I watched it all. I uh, had no life this weekend other than uh, being glued to the screen. I did both CJI recaps. I'm going to go over some of the ADCC stuff and just give my thoughts on the weekend as a whole. Uh, the absolute bracket of ADCC, the men's Kynan Dwarch won gold, Cyborg Abreu won silver, and Dante Leon won bronze. Uh, Kynan, this guy, had an absolute tear of a, of a weekend. Insane. Uh, let's get to the super fight for tonight. I mean, why not, right? We might as well. Things ended with Gordon Ryan defeating Yuri Samos 21 nothing. He toyed with him a little bit after he took him down, uh, camped out in the sort of knee shield headquarters position, was able to, uh, control and get and force into the hat top half guard where he was able to isolate uh, a limb and then pass with some slick, heavy pressure, chest-to-chest -chest passing of Gordon Ryan. He got into mount. He isolated both arms above the shoulder line and uh, pressure city. He laced that leg in and out of the half guard to just camp and uh, build up points, just rack them up to become the 21 nothing victory. Uh, was not able to get the finish, but we will see him against Kynan Dwarch at the 2026 ADCC Super Fight. Uh, so brilliant performance by Gordon tonight compared to his match with uh, Felipe Pena last night. Uh, a lot of people thought, what the heck is going on? And and I don't know. Gordon didn't seem to like his performance. He won 2-0 uh, on the scoreboard. Again, couldn't get the, the victory. Felipe was utilizing the... Uh, the bear trap, uh, little bottom leg trapped uh, system that he uses. And it, it stopped Gordon from being able to pass the guard, being able to really do too much. He looked sort of out of place last night. Uh, yes, he got the victory, but I, I'm guessing he probably took it a little easier last night knowing that he had his super fight tonight. So Gordon Ryan, 2-0, and oh, 7 uh, time ADCC champion and arguably the greatest of all time, as we've all known uh, leading up to this. Women's absolute brackets at ADCCC. Whoa, one extra C there. That's how tired I am. Adele Fornarino. Adele Fornarino wins gold. Uh, Bia Mosqueda, silver. And Amy Campo got the walkover for bronze uh, because... She just did. Rafael Geddes uh, had to forfeit due to injury. Now let's go through the listings of ADCC 2024 champions under 66 kilogram division. Diego Baby Shark Hayes wins gold. He beat Diego Pato uh, for that one. Justice Neros won bronze. The under 77 kilogram division, Mika Galvao got gold, beating Wagner Hocha for silver. P.J. Barch won bronze. Great performance by Barch all weekend long. The under 88 kilogram division, Giancarlo Bodoni, two-time champion, uh, wins gold. He beat Jay Rodriguez. Uh, impressive performance. Both guys looked great this weekend. Uh, Jay Rod uh, being able to make it to the finals and, and looked good in that in that in that uh, match. And Felipe Costa wins bronze. The under 99 kilogram division, Kynan Dwarch won gold, Rafael Lovato Jr. silver, and Cyborg Abreu bronze. The plus 99 kilogram division, Felipe Pena wins gold, and this was a good one. He he looked actually he looked really good against Luke Griffith in the final. Luke did almost take his back, but Felipe Pena was able to get the rear naked choke over Griffith. And big Daniel Manasui wins bronze. Over to the women, under 55 kilogram division, Adele Fornarino wins gold. Bianca Basilio wins silver. Jasmine Hocha wins bronze. Over to the minus 65 kilogram division, Anna Carolina Vieira gold. Helena Crivar silver. 
be a Mosquita Bruns. Now, Helena Craver, she's going to be trouble for a long time to come. Same with a guy like Big Dan, uh, both super young, both very hungry, coming from the same camp. They're going to be trouble for years and years to come. And finally, the plus 65 kilogram division for the women. Rafael Geddes wins gold. Natalie De Jesus wins silver. And Kendall Reusing wins bronze. Kendall looked great this weekend as well. Uh, no slouch for any of these uh, medalists. They all had weekends. One thing I got to say, and I think we got spoiled by CJI with the fact that they had one match at a time. And, you know, over on Flow, with the amount of divisions and the amount of athletes that they have competing at ADCC, we need to come up with a formula where it's not multiple mats going on at once, especially on day two. I understand day one where we're going to have, you know, six mats going at once because they need to get through all of the brackets. The, the round of 16 needs to get finished. The quarterfinals need to get finished. But on day two, we should be like, let's get this thing going all day long, one match at a time, just grinding through it back to back to back. We don't need any in between, no recess, no intermission, no break. Let's just get this stuff back to back, one mat at a time, and we can have fun watching jujitsu and really immerse ourselves in it so we don't have to flip from mat to mat or keep it on flow zone or have multiple screens going. That's just one thing I, I really wish that we could get. And I understand probably CJI, when they do it in two years, they might compete on the same weekend as ADCC again. We will see CJI, as I said in my CJI video, in 2025. So it will be a yearly thing, maybe even more, they said. But I'm sure in 2026, they will compete with ADCC again. So ADCC is going to have to come up with something. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you thought of CJI and ADCC, who won this weekend, uh, what your favorite matches were, and what ADCC and CJI can do better the next time around. That does it for me. Make sure you check out Slappies, the best vodka soda in town, and make sure you subscribe to MMA Sucker on all of our platforms. Peace.